Hello and welcome, I'm Marumba. Thank you for joining me. Let's play some more EU4 as Norway. I'm gonna take care of this little rebellion for Denmark. They're throwing a single regiment at this thing. It's kind of pathetic, actually. Once our fleet gets back, we'll ship ten regiments over. Now, manpower-wise, we are still struggling. And I'm gonna spend another couple hundred ducats now on more armories or... You know, whatever gives us the most trade power. Or, sorry, manpower. Looks like armories it is. Our manpower cap is 46,000, and I'm still quite worried about the Peasants' War. That's pretty likely to happen fairly quick. What? Didn't fire? Come on. There we go. Denmark, do you like us enough yet? 167. It's actually almost capped out on relations. We're going to need to send him a gift. My aggressive expansion is, is still pretty severe from before. We can't proclaim a guarantee of you or anything, right? There's nothing else we can do to make you like us. Oh, that's right. With Papal Controller, we can totally call for a crusade. We can only excommunicate Catholics. Like Poland! Papal State have too good of opinion of them. <laughs> Positive 200. You kiss it. They're just kissing his ass. What if we called for crusade on Muscovy? Damn. Yeah. While tempting, we cannot launch a crusade against fellow Christians, heretics or not. Crimea, on the other hand, we could totally decide to attack. Although, we were improving relations with them. Alright, so Corellia is ours. We are capped out on papal influence again. I should have... There should be a pop-up. Instead of saying you can invest in a cardinal, it should say your papal influence is capped out. No one is uh, competing with us for our guy, still. And the Papal State is probably the most likely person to actually threaten us when it comes to control of the Curia, so we're going to take one from them. Oh, damn it, it jumped on me. I don't like it when they move. And so hopefully that'll stay that way. So... As far as cast a spell I go, we do still have a coalition against us. Sweden, Brandenburg, and Hamburg. Um, cessation of church functions. Noble families were often granted control over church lands, and appointments were made in many states in exchange for cash contributions. Papal influence and money. National tax modifier minus 15%. Kind of have to take it, don't we? Well, let's see. Um... National tax modifier, minus 15% on 200. That's 30 ducats a year for 20 years. Wow. 20 ducats a year for 30 years. That sucks. A lot. 20 ducats... Sorry. 30 ducats a year for 20 years. That's 600 gold. But it's either that or take the stability loss. So I guess we're going to. Besides, we do need some more armories. Which is the one that allows them to... Yeah, we need barracks. That's what we need. It's very significant. Cost is higher, but... It's better use of military points. Okay. Time of great peace. I was just moving there to take care of that. 
to like protect against that. We'll maintain the diplomat in Denmark for now. Hopefully when we actually begin the annexation process, I will remember. You know what? Um, rather than wait a couple years, I do think we'll send them 50 ducats. Or maybe we can get by with just 25. Six more pinion gets us to 189. And then, as long as we maintain the diplomat within the next year, aggressive expansion will go away and annex vassal will go away. And declared war will go away. So yeah, we'll just send them 25 ducats. And try to remember to actually take care of it. Oh, right. The Finland thing. Did I decide I wanted to do that? I don't remember. Well, right now, we are converting the territory of Kola. is one of them. We're converting Olonets, which is this one. And we're converting... Torzok. Tors... Torzok. If we create a vassal, they will receive... Interesting, they won't actually receive cola. Okay, well let's just do it. I think we should do it. So they'll get Kexholm, Neva, Ingermanland, these three, and Karelia. So these four, all along the border of Sweden. We might lose some trade power in this node for a second, but that is fine. Now, I don't know if we will gain a, a cast a spell against Sweden for them. Too many diplomatic relations, that's true. Well, we'll just have to stay there until we can finish annexing, or, like, actually annex Denmark. And no, we did not gain a cast of spell eye on behalf of Sweden. But, if we ever end up at war with Sweden, we can use that return course to Finland thing, which costs us nothing. So, Sweden, uh, well, let's see, our cast of spell eye are... We can attack England, and England is allied with Sweden, I believe. Yep. And Austria. Austria is getting trashed right now by Poland. Poland's pretty scary, aren't they? Although France is better than they are. But Poland has a bigger military than France right now, surprisingly. Hmm. Where are we on this list? Not doing so great on uh, military. And we're not even in number one uh, for naval. But, you know, we're just a little trade power up in the northern bits of nowhere. Sorry if you live there and I just said that. That wasn't very nice. Hmm. Why are we making so little money? Because of all the mercenaries. Let's just get rid of them all right now. Still negative 12. It's been that exact same number for a long time. We have gained the trade dispute against Sweden. Okay, so I just released a bunch of mercenaries and apparently they they feel willing now to embargo me. But if we declared war on them, they'd call upon the coalition members and they would also call upon their allies. We'd end up with England, at war with England anyway. So we probably would want to declare the war on England. That way the coalition members don't get called in. 
That would harm our relation with Austria, though. Unless Austria didn't accept the call to arms. I think we just take our time. We let our manpower get back up to like at least half. We convert our provinces. We have a 22.8% revolt risk in this province. It's quite a bit. We could get the administrative monarchy instead of our feudal monarchy. We do take the tech. St. Kitts is struggling, but it is it's on its way, man. It's gonna make it, I swear. Oh jeez. Armories. The only people that scare me right now, as far as, like, if I actually went to war with them, are, is really Poland. And then a minor, minor little bit against Sweden and England, just because England's going to siege Scotland, there's nothing I can do about it, really. And Sweden has a fairly strong military force as well, and they're keeping up pretty well on military tech. So, I'm a big fan of that. So we finished coring that a while ago. We should just remove it from the Empire. Go away. Kind of a slow episode. Can we, can we handle speed 5, maybe? Convert, convert. Good, good. Convert, convert. This one should be almost done, right? No, they killed Panama again. Now this one's the one that doesn't want to survive. We've gained the diplomatic insult against Sweden. How many troops do they have? Just the 25 stack. That's all that they have. And a 1-1 commander. Against our 6-2. Maybe we could just, just declare war and trash them. I mean, we've got 17 here. None of which are mercenaries. We've got... I mean, we will not have any mercenaries, right? No mercenaries. I know we have naval supremacy. We've also got the armies of Denmark and Finland, which are small. Out of curiosity, if we declared war on England, would France join us? Yes, they would. So we declare war on England. They call in Sweden and Austria. Austria breaks their alliance with me. Which is fine, that was just a kind of a, a feeler relationship, you know. France has no one to siege around here. So they end up using their boats to siege England on the mainland. That protects Scotland. Meanwhile, my army beats up Sweden. Austria can go to hell because they just got trashed by Poland. And we return cores to Sweden uh, in a separate peace. And then, sorry, we, we return Swedish cores to Finland in a separate piece with Sweden, maybe transfer trade power again, and then we take colonial stuff from 
England and actually get a colony, a, a full-blown col colonial nation. I like that a lot. The only real concern is that we're just still really low on manpower. It'd be great if we could get our army tradition up so we'd actually have faster recovery. Let's wait for the moment, finish converting these provinces, and then we'll do it. I think that's a better plan. Whoa! Look forward. Okay. Alright, I'm going to take a break here. I will see you in the next video. Thanks for watching, everyone. See you soon.